Hello everybody, this is Glenda with Freelands and Friends Crafts Plus. We're going to start on a bulletin board project tonight. And <laughs> I am going to be just, I got out the stencils. My daughter gave me these a couple of years ago. And I figured someday I'd have a reason to use them. Well, it looks like I've come up with that day. And it's now. <laughs> and I've been drawing them out on white paper like this. Now, of course, I'm not going to be able to. Once I get them colored, I'm going to have. To, I'm going to be putting white sheets up here on the bulletin board, like white sheets of this paper, and then I'll be cutting these out and putting them up there, because well, just because <laughs> it'll work out better that way. So, I ask Google, what colors show up best on video? Well, they gave me three choices. Ruby red, emerald green, and sapphire blue. Now, none of my colored pencils say any of those names. They say red, dark red. See, one of them is dark green. The other is pine green. The blues are blue and dark blue. <laughs> so we will just decide. Oh, the reds are red and lake red. I've never heard of lake red. <laughs> I have never heard of lake red. Okay, so be right back. This S is all I've got left, and I will be cutting these out to put them on the board because one of these sheets does not cover that board. It takes a few, so even though they are big sheets, it takes a few of them to cover the board. I've got some markers, they're kind of kids' markers, which don't matter, but, um, I don't know, it might, but they're pastels, and I don't think I want pastels for this. So, we have Freelands and Friends Crafts Plus. Plus is on the other one. So, let's get a start on this. Now, what I remember from coloring is just you know, stay in between the lines. <laughs> okay. Can you? Um, it's hard for me to tell what you can see. Okay, I'll be having to scoot it a little. That's okay. All right. I want to bend it. I'll just start off with red. The thing about using doing it this way is <laughs> if it does get just a little crooked, I can cut it out. I never know. I have seen people color in circles all my life, and a lot of people say, oh, that's the best way. I used to just color in like this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if one way is better than the other. I mean, you can definitely tell the difference in the texture, in the look of the texture, but... So we'll just go with the swirl on this F so that it doesn't get <laughs> a different, show two different patterns. And I'll probably go that way with all of them. But I really can't paint this. This is just regular, the, the, the weight is regular copy paper weight. It's not a heavier paper. It's just large sized. 
<laughs> when I got it, I didn't realize that the new, that the new laser printer I had just bought didn't print this size of paper because <laughs> it's also wider than the eight and eight and a half by eleven. And of course, I'm not going to do all of these tonight. I know better than that. So there's an F. I'm going to zoom in just a little here so you can get to see it real good. There. We have an F. Okay. What do you think? Should I keep on with this track or should I put the red in between the, the blue and the green? I mean, I can, there's a, there's an F down here. There's an R down here. I mean, I can still switch that up and just use it up there. Use, well, one of them. I've got enough to switch things around. So let me know what you think of that. Do you like the colors? Do you like the idea, and do you think I should have the red in between the green and the blue to kind of separate those similarities in color? <laughs> I have told Joe that I want about four more packages of these. six times five that'd be about 30 of them and I I will be doing the same I've decided I will do the same on the other side I am so glad for the positive feedback I had from you guys today that really makes me feel good so have a wonderful day and I may not have any of this stuff done immediately, but I will be working on it all along. But this has been such nice weather that it's we're going to be losing it probably come Monday and Tuesday. So I think I'm going to get out on the porch tomorrow or, yeah, I think I'll go out tomorrow and maybe we'll work on that table kind of get it at least cleaned off.
and looking a little cleaner and stuff and then start thinking about putting you know a few more doodads here and there out there for the season so I'll see you tomorrow I love you dearly do smile and wave if you are out and about and see somebody and stay distanced right now the country is going through another wave of COVID here in Nebraska it's it's really ramped up so but it sounds like the whole country is kind of going through it right now and there's just so many stressors right now make a joyful part of your day every day find some joyful part and some peace I like to pray I like to study you know do Bible verses and things like that that's also a way I communicate with my family is by a daily Bible verse so or have been lately and it seems to be working pretty good but we all need that however you do that I mean not you know find something you consider higher than yourself and something you feel you can put your trust in and let all the worries go on that because like I said it's stressful these days are, are very stressful and we don't need any more of it <laughs> not in our own personal daily lives and that's all we can control is well we can't even really control those but we can have a lot to say about them so <laughs> we can have a lot to do with how they go no matter what the circumstance so whatever's outside my door is outside my door and I may try to catch up on what it is every once in a while especially with the COVID but I am not going to I'm not dwelling on it because I'm simply not letting myself <laughs> because I'm the kind who would I'm the kind who would I have an obsessive type of of mind and I just don't want to allow my mind to get to racing on stuff like that so we will see you again. I've said it again and again. Love you. Good night.